five, four, three, two, one. Daryl! Alex. You know what pisses me the fuck off? What? Starting right off hot here. When your favorite oh wait, no, just give me back my iPad. I'm setting it up for Stop you. Stop it. Stop it. Just don't steal I'm my trying iPad. to be nice. Fuck you. Um I'm fired up here. Cause you know what we did, the Windsor Spitfires did? They traded Aaron Lou, Chuck to Barry. So imagine you have oh, uh, this isn't a good representation, but let's say Austin Matt like no, not Austin Matt. I'm trying to think you of a good example. Let's say William Nylander. We went over this last episode, how he won't be, but let's say he's your captain. You just made him captain. Okay. And you just and he's one of your best scorers. And like yeah. he's one of the reasons that you're actually in the playoff, like in the playoff picture. And you just trade him away. How would that make you feel? I mean It's infuriating. Fuck Windsor. Screw well, just think about it. How stupid is that? Aaron Luchuk is a Barry Colt. And in his debut, just to make it worse, Last he night. had one goal and two assists against... Well, fuck, I don't mind I don't the Colts. Know. I like the... It was against... Oh, good question. I don't know. Uh, but it was against... Uh, yeah, like... I, fuck, I, I, I don't know who it was Andrei Svechnikov, the projected second overall pick in the NHL draft in the 2018, also got a hat trick. Uh, I don't mind Barry. But, oh my god, Windsor needs to be fucking shot for that. Barry's making a push to win the Eastern Conference in the OHL this year. And I think Watch they can. Watch out, Mississauga. I think they can. Yeah, definitely. I'm drinking water this time. Good stuff, eh? Yes, yes. Well, you know, diet ginger ale water, <laughs> dick. Eat my Once Cheerios. No. First evidence right here, folks, of a pure dick in motion. Eat my Cheerios. All right. All right. You're being a real dick eating your Cheerios on air. Well, I'm sorry. I haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> Recording this at 5.30 at night on a Friday. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. So, you what know, are you going to do about it? What did Windsor get in return for that? They got... A 2019... Uh, or I don't know the years exactly, but I know they got two thirds... Or three thirds... Fuck. Three seconds and a fourth. Plus, they got Douglas, I think his name is. Probably some, some third one. Some guy. It's those kind of trades that usually involves a player just as like a roster space bill. So yeah, Aaron Luchuk is a Colt playing alongside Andre Svechnikov and I forget the other guy's name. Oops. Can you get it? Come on. I know it. Starts with an L, right? His last name does. Yeah. I can't get it. Alex Lipinov. Okay, yeah. I knew that. I knew that. Drapic of Tampa. He's Russian. He is good. Yes, he is. So, like, okay, so I, I can bring up his stats right here. We don't, mm-hmm. What? We don't need stats. Well, I just want to tell you this. If you're an OHL team fighting for a playoff spot, do you trade someone that this year has 51 points in 30 games for your team? He now has 54 points, by the way. Yes, that's true. Uh, yeah, it's true. He has 20, he had, not including last night's game, where he played for Barry, he had 28 goals, almost a goal per game. Wait, why do you trade that? Even if it is OHL. Because he's an overager. So what? I saw, I saw Barry fans complaining on Twitter of the accusation. Complaining? They were complaining because he's an overager and because, yeah. They complained that uh, oh my god that they got Aaron Luchuk because he's very stop Asia. being spoiled. Aaron yeah. Luchuk's a great player, and I think they even underpaid to get him. Speaking of great, Canada made its World Junior cuts. Oh wow, you're gonna just okay. I'm gonna have to cool down here then. Yeah, so Cody Glass got cut from the World Junior roster. Jonathan Ang got cut from the World Junior roster. Cole Lind, I don't know who that is. I do. Played for Col- he plays for Kelowna. Draft sure. pick of the Canucks. Sure. Yeah, it's good. You don't know who got cut then, do you? I don't know who else did. But Dennis I have Chalowski, whoever that is. I have everyone else on. Logan Stanley, six foot seven Kitchener Ranger defenseman got cut because Canada yeah. is pretty good with defense at the World Juniors. And Logan Stanley is pretty shit at defense. Well then, his words. And goaltender Samuel Harvey got cut, making... I'm sorry, that was pretty mean, actually. I think there's, I'm just, like... I'm saying that about Stanley because he makes a lot of turnovers. 
I that's think something I noticed about his game. I think there's four more people uh, players that get cut. I'm not left. sure exactly. Uh, currently, their rosters. I think they could do pretty decent. They're gonna they're gonna get a medal. They no should. Doubt. They should. They'll probably have Carter Hart and Michael D. Pietro in the cage. On defense, they'll probably have. Never mind. It's not gonna sort like that. Oh yes, it will. Carter Hart. Carter Hart's gonna be the starting goaltender. Uh, what? Yes, Carter Hart is going to start. He's going to be the starter. You know he's going to be the starter. No, I know Di Pietro is going to be the starter. You're ridiculous. Carter Hart's better than Di Pietro. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Carter Hart is better than Mike Di Pietro. Well, you so, know, you always have to just feel bad for the people that are affected by idiosity. Carter Hart will start mo- a majority, if not all, of the games for Team Canada. I hope not. Well, you can hope all you want. It doesn't Because you know why? True. Why? He started last year. How did we do last year? Lost in the gold medal game. Two. United States. In a shootout because the shootouts are fucking stupid. Well, we could go over that if we lose again in the shootout. I'm pretty sure we talked about this last week. Shootouts and deciding games should not happen. We briefly mentioned it. Other than uh, that, though, their defense score is probably going to look like Connor Timmins, Victor Mate, Kale McCarr, Kale, uh, Cal Foot, Dante Fabrio, Kale Clegg, Jake Bean, and maybe Mario Ferraro. Sounds maybe good. Marhura. I'm that not sure. That sounds good. But yeah, so it's a, it's a good defensive court. And then forwards. Forwards is where we really just out of the park. Out of the park. Just bop it out of the flip. park. I'm not getting that. You're going to have to get that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't need a pen. I got my forwards pen. Forwards they have. Wasn't Boris Kachuk cut? No. He wasn't? Okay, I thought he was somewhere. Uh, forwards, then we have Robert Thomas. Not a bad player. Pretty good player. Uh, Nick Suzuki. Good player. Pretty good player. Uh, Tyler Steenbergen. Hey! Would you, we, I remember talking about him. Yes. Uh, Sam Steele, Taylor Radish, Michael McLeod, Colin, Jordan Koru, Boris Kachu. Kairu. Jordan Kairu. Don't start! Jordan Kyrou. Don't start with me. Don't don't toy with me, woman. I'm not a woman. Have you I'm never fucking... have you never heard that quote before? No. You don't I haven't. Wa- you don't watch a lot of movies. Uh we got Brent Howden, Jonah Gadjevich, Alex Warmington, Dylan Dubé, Maxine Comtois, Jake Batherson, and that's it. <coughs> Sound- Man, that's Jesus. a mouthful. That's a mouthful. Sounds good to me. That's, oh that's, my God. that's a medal winning team. Is it though? Yes. Where were we last year? Yes. Did, like, it is, it, is this a team that can win? It was a silver, but is this it was a still team a that medal. can win we it. Still though. placed. Is, is this a team that can win it? Yes. To Ryan Polig and the Team USA. Yes. Do you know win. who Ryan Polig is? Not really. Exactly. Would you like me to explain? Sure. Ryan Polig is one of many really good forwards for Team USA. Well. We're Canadian. We should be talking about the Canadians. Fuck the USA. I'm just wanting to say because polling is also, or however you want to say it, I don't, I'm going to say something along the lines. I'm not going to correct you because I don't even know who he is. I'm going to say along the lines of polling. I, I, I'm saying that, and I think it's somewhat right, and that's all that matters. Here, tell me if you can pronounce that right there. Polling. Is it polling? what it looks like to me huh whatever polling he's a habs draft pick now i didn't like that pick we did fuck the habs and he plays for the ncaa (laughs) he plays in the ncaa so this is my first time getting to see him play and him being a first round pick it's kind of important that he's a good player so you know this is kind of you know a lot of pressure meaning do not suck (laughs) polling Along, uh, along with that, they got Casey Middlestat, Josh Norris, uh, let's see, Kiefer Bellows, Josh, Joey Anderson, sorry, Logan Brown, uh, Kale Uriamimoto, Riley Tuff, Brady Kachuk. Pretty good team. Uh, yeah, defensemen, they got Quinn Hughes. That's about it. And in uh, goal, they have Joseph Wall and Jake Ottinger. Going with one defenseman for the tourney, eh? One good defenseman. 
Well, Ooh. not good. <laughs> that's just that's just a really bold statement. Uh, it's one that I recognize as a Canadian. And you want to know my predictions? What? I think it's going to be Russia in either Canada or United States in the final. I think the final four, this is pretty safe, but I think it's going to be Sweden, Russia, Canada, U.S. Typical. And I think that Russia, with Andrei Sveshnikov, with... Uh, Lepa- Sveshnikov's not in the tournament. Is he not? He's playing with Barry. He got a hat trick last night. Wait, that's true. Maybe I don't think- because he had a broken hand. Oh, that's right. He just well, returned to Barry. He might do the ignore, ignore it, ignore it, focus. The producer. On me, on me. I'm looking focus. at the camera is what I'm doing. You're looking at a ghost. We're talking um, to the cameras. You're looking at a ghost. We're not talking to each other. We're talking at the cameras. We're breaking the fourth wall. Are we? Whoa. Fourth wall. Are we turning into Deadpool? <laughs> Never seen Deadpool. Really? It's a good movie. Good piece of cinema. You should watch it. <laughs> piece of cinema. Piece of cinema. All right. I just realized I deleted the wrong things off my thing. Canada, USA time. gold medal again. Really? That's your bet? Yep. The United States have never won a gold medal on home soil, I guess you can say, and they've never repeated as gold medal champions. Well, how many times have they uh, played on home soil? Don't ask me. D- okay, <laughs> that's uh, I. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, okay, now tomorrow, tomorrow is a special day. Yes, yes, a it special is. day for it Canadians is. hockey. I'm really glad I get to watch it. Yes. Oh wait, oh, yeah. no, I don't. So the Senators are hosting the Montreal Canadiens at Parliament Hill no, for an outdoor at Parliament game. Hill. Yeah, it is. It's at Lansdowne Park, their football field. No, Parliament yes, Hill. No, it's not. It's Parliament Hill. No, it's not. I know there's a rink at Parliament Hill. That was for the alumni game. Oh, screw the alumni game. The game's at Lansdowne Park, or however you say it, where their Ottawa Red Blacks play. Huh. I, I heard it was from... I was at uh You need um, to do your research before we start to record. Well, you know, I was I would pay more attention to it if I was actually gonna watch the game. Well, I was gonna win. Mm-hmm. They're hosting. It's an outdoor game. And then again, yeah, Ottawa's gonna win. Really? Ottawa's gonna win four two. Really? Four two. Really? Yeah. No. Yep. No. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm disagreeing there. Wanna why? Why? Because Ottawa sucks. Well, so do the Habs. The viewers, the viewers know how badly they sucked. And if we talked about them, what like viewers? we were going to last week. What viewers? Gee, we well, did not <laughs> acknowledge our screaming <laughs> fan base. All five of them? Ha! 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 Just crying on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, the Ottawa, we could have talked about how bad they were and how much trouble they were in. And now it's getting worse and... I told you so. Ottawa's going to win 4-2. No, they are That's my prediction for the game. No, they are not. I hope not. The Leafs also have a centennial, I guess, game coming up next Tuesday. They play at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Is it outside? No. But they have like an hour ceremony before the game about the past 100 years of Maple Leafs hockey. That's Playing Carolina at 2 or 3 o'clock. Carolina. That can be offensive to some viewers. Don't. What viewers? (laughs) All five of them? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me that way. But that's pretty stupid. And a one hour, I get it for the last They're going to honor the past, like, hundred years of hockey. So, like, they're going to, yeah. And when is this? On, is it Tuesday, on Tuesday, next Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon. Yes. And they're playing Carolina? Yes, Jeff Skinner. I hope, Jeff Skinner, get, I hope Jeff Skinner gets a hat trick. Jeff Skinner's my phone background, so. No, it's not. It's Johnny Gaudreau. Well, the other phone back, the home screen background is Jeff Skinner. I doubt that. Uh, doubt it all you want. I know who I I'm put on my fucking phone. I'm guessing that the Habs phone. win tomorrow. Mm, three two. Three two. Four two cents. Fair enough. But you know what? You know what's been ridiculous? What's been ridiculous? People saying Eric Carlson is going to get traded. Eric Carlson's not going nowhere. Exactly. Well, I mean, okay, there's a possibility of it, but th- it's like. It's like Carey, like people saying Carey Price is going to get traded. It's not, not going happen. nowhere. Like I could understand it, but it's not going to happen. Like you just can't. Stupid do that. to say. Yeah, but then again, at least Carey Price is signed. This guy, like this is Eric Carlson, who has this year and next year at only six point five mil, and then he's going to want too much money. Yep. 
Like, I still think he's going to resign with Ottawa. With Duchesne? <laughs> Don't make fun of my slurping. Duchesne's been shit. <laughs> yeah, he has. Does he? Yeah. Mm. Should we do our weekly Duchesne update? Yeah. Okay. Shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but Ottawa, I just don't see doing well this year. I I think like last maybe, year was a fluke. Was it a fluke? It was. I I don't think it was a fluke. I just think that now teams are starting. What's to changed stay. about the roster? Not a whole lot. Yeah, teams are starting to understand. Like they know the style they play and they can use again. Like play against it better. Matt Duchesne, here's your weekly Duchesne update. Matt Duchesne, in 30... Oh, I should say into the mic. In 30 games played this year, has 15 points. Most of which came with Colorado. Six goals, nine (laughs) assists. Most of which came with Colorado. His last five games... He, uh, so December 6th. Can you stop messing with your Cheerios box? No, make me. Uh, no, me okay. Box. Okay, okay, I'm moving it. Uh, so December 6th against Anaheim, he was a minus two. And that's of course, it. He's bad. Uh, December 7th, two points, a goal and an assist against LA. Nashville won the trade. Uh, ooh. And then he had, he was without a point until December 13th against New York. So, so. That's that. I don't know. Ottawa needs some help, and it's not helping that their goaltending isn't getting much better, and I don't know. They could use some help. Ottawa's just not good. How's your drink, by the way? Terrible. (laughs) Now, because we have no ideas, we're idiots, and we need an idea for something to do, we're going to play Would You Rather. Yeah, we are. This is going to be something we might come back to. Yeah, should be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. So you can go first. I'm going first. Yes, you are. Okay. So basically, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Would you rather do one or two? Okay. And you have to give me your opinion. Okay. And then I might give you mine. I don't Would want- you rather win a Stanley Cup and suck for 10 years with no Ooh. first round picks? Ooh. So basically, win a cup, but then you're done for like yeah. a good cu- decade and a half. Yeah. Or suck five years. Uh, and become a good team with reduced chances at a cup. So your chances aren't as strong as a cup. But it's a shorter span, and you actually have a good team. I'd go with the second one, the latter. The second one? Yeah. Interesting. I mean, that reduced chance doesn't mean you're not going to win a cup. It's just a reduced chance. You could still potentially win a cup. And you, it's better to have a good team because that brings the locker room spirits up and it brings the fan spirits up and it it's at least exciting to be a part of it. That is true. Rather than suck for 10 years, then the fans be out of it. Cough, cough, Florida or Carolina. Um, That's true. Yeah. All right. Chew with your first question. Would you rather be drafted first overall to a good team with not a lot of time on the ice or last to a bad team with good time on the ice? Ooh, that's actually tough. <laughs> oh. I would say, I would say last. Yeah? Why? Because then that means that the team is up and coming. It means I would have a better chance at being good for the future. And I would have a better opportunity to shine as an NHL player. Sure, and the spotlight wouldn't be on me enough so I could come in as a sleeper. Fair good enough. answer. <clears throat> Good answer. Yeah. Be a uh, Patrick Hornfisk. <laughs> All right, go. All right. As a Leaf fan, Ooh. would you rather erase the past 10 years of pain? So, like, erase it from the history books. It never happened the last 10 years of pain. Or get a get out of a contract free card. What do you mean by that? Basically, let's say you make the signing hey, we're going to extend Matt Martin 10 years at 10 mil per year because he's that good of a player. And then you realize, oh, wait, no, we were just stoned out of our minds that night. He's not a good player. We were thinking of Matthews. And you just, so this card, I say it in quotes card, but this would allow you to cancel that contract. It's void. It's gone. You know, like it's not buyout where you have. There's to keep nobody I'd it. rather keep the contract uh, away from. So let's go. Just go with the race the past ten years. Although I've enjoyed the past ten years of Leafs hockey. But that's a trick question. Why is you that? say that, but if that happens, 
No Marner. No Neilander. No Matthews. Oh, no Freddie. All right. Let's just not answer that question. I don't really have an answer then. And I'll go right into the third one because it involves those players too. Well, fuck you. Do you want to do it then? Go, 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 go. Would you rather have two elite forwards, like very elite forwards, or one elite defender? Elite forwards, because then if it happens that like, I'd prefer to have a, a we like a good average defense, but with a very strong offense, than a strong defense and weak weaker offense. Not to mention then these forwards, I could then trade for mm-hmm. a defenseman, True. and I could get one of each. True. All right. You can go on with your last one. Would you rather, if you had to, if one, if you had the power to, to, to you would have to end these players' careers? Would you, or better yet, you had to give these players to a division rival, like is this, Ottawa? Is this a question that took you twenty minutes to come up with? No. Uh, would you rather have to give Matthews to a division rival, or Marner, Neilander, and Freddie Anderson? So, so it's either, would you rather have Matthews or Marner, Neilander, and Anderson? So it's one or three? Yeah. I'd rather have the three. But then you don't have Matthews. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'd rather have good goaltending. Freddie stood on his head all year. He's a He could potentially be a Vesna Trophy winner. He's been the MVP of the Toronto Maple Leafs this season. Okay, then. Sure. It's, it's fine. It's fine. All right. That, that's it? So I have one last one? Yeah, you have one last one. This is my personal favorite. Thank you, Google. Would you rather be in net to take a shot from Alex Ovechkin or take a hit from Scott Stevens? Oh, shit. Um, (laughs) Thank you, Google. You know what? In net with Alex Ovechkin. Why? Because odds are he's a good shot, right? Odds are he's not going to hit me. He's the most likely the gonna put to it right by. He's most likely gonna hit it right by me, right into the net. Okay, away from me. Okay, so ha. Huh. You got your way around eat the your, question. Eat shit, Google. I All right. win. All right, All Star, All Star captain. All Star captains. So the All Star captain votes uh, have gone down, or are, are going right now. I personally don't know who is leading the votes. I will tell you once we're. We done. don't need to know. Well, you know what? I'm going our to predictions you. were supposed to be based not off the votes. Well, I mean, after we say our picks. Oh my God. Do you want then me to? say your picks. Oh, okay. Well, do, are you saying? We'll do it. Here, this is what we're going to do. We'll do it one division at a time. We'll both, at the same time, say who we're picking. Okay. Atlantic. So we'll start, yeah, the Atlantic. One, two, three. Kucherov. Stamkos. <laughs> fair enough. Okay. Yeah, okay, fair enough. They're basically... It's the same, same person. Metropolitan. Yes. One... Two, three, Giroux. Brian Boyle. I like Boyle because, hey, if we can get John Scott in the Ulster game with all the shit Boyle's been through, put him in. But because that's probably not going to happen, I also said Ovi because that's... I said Drew. Drew, 35 points. It's not bad. I have him in my pool. He's good. Central. Yeah, man. Are we doing Central first? Yeah. All right. One, two, three. Mark Shifley. Shifley. Hey, decent pick. I like him. Yeah, he's a good player. Helps uh, Winnipeg's offense. It's he. I think he's one of the top five centers in the league. Yeah. And Pacific, one, two, three. Johnny James Gaudreau. Neal. James Neal. James Neal. Johnny Gaudreau. Okay. Um. Yeah, but I think that I. I honestly think that Stamkos is one of the safer bets because hey, they're hosting too. Like hey, what. Tampa's hosting, what makes it better than having literally your whole team and getting all I mean, no games. doubt Stamkos and Kucherov are both going to be there. Yeah, easily. No question. Easily. And then probably Sergachev might stay in there for a bit. It's just up to who's the captain of that team, the Atlantic team. True. So, would you Vote like to Patrick Marlowe for captain. Would you captain. like to know the updated captain? Sure. As Patrick of Marlo. two days ago, the top three in the, Atlant- the Atlantic, Stamkos, Kucherov, yeah, yeah. Matthews. Wow, Matthews. The top three in the Pacific. Yeah, McDavid, Goudreau, Neil. McDavid hasn't done much. The top three in the Metro, Ovi, Crosby, and the future have himself Tavares. Oh my God! Why not Giroux? And in the Central, because uh, fuck you, PK, Tarasenko, Kane. What the fuck? <laughs> that baffles Tarasenko, me. Tarasenko, I get. Kane, I kind of get. 
But PK? Really? What the fuck has he done? Really? Yeah, he yeah. lost to his brother. He hasn't been that good. Malcolm Subban's better than PK. I mean, PK... Mm, <laughs> okay, hot takes. <laughs> it's, oh, uh, here's your manual sound effects. Yes. Uh, yeah, PK is good, but is he that good? Not captain. I, I don't even know if he'd. I'd put pick him on my all star team. To be honest with you, <laughs> eat sweet. Shit. Eat shit. My drink was done anyways. Ah, uh, last topic for today. Short show. Yeah, it is a short show. We're sorry for that, but short show. We kind of have stuff to do after this, and, and we kind of had trouble really setting think. up. Yeah, we had trouble setting up. Yeah. So this Buffalo. was your topic. I don't want to talk about this at all. They're I not do. worthy of my fucking time. Oh, there I, goes the fucking mic. Oops. We're already breaking shit. Oops. Already. Let's try and fix that. Sorry, producer. Jesus Christ. What a guy. So Buffalo. Unfortunately. How good of they, like how good is their team on paper? <laughs> not. They, they, tell me. Tell me if they. If I'll name their players. Like some players. Eichel. Tell me if Eichel. Good Eichel. 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 No, just tell me if they're good players. Ryan O'Reilly. Not really. That, what, but Eichel, Eichel's the only thing that they have going for them. If they don't you want to say that, they, they don't have Reinhardt, they don't have Opoxo, they don't have O'Reilly. So they're not good. So they're not that good. Yeah, yeah, no shit. That's what we're talking about. Should they be good? No. Why? Because they don't have caliber players to be good other than fucking Eichel, who's the general manager of their team. No, they have so many. The key is they have players. They should be good, but they're just not. They have Evander Kane, Ryan O'Reilly, Kyle Pokso, Jason Palm. Uh, never mind. Uh, Sam Reinhart and Jack Eichel. So they like that's a lethal offense on defense. Well, Rasmus is still in it. That's about it. <laughs> And Rob Neuner. They have such a good offense, but their defense is so crap. And their goaltending is not good. Like, how do you screw up this badly? And why are they not trying to solve this? Because their general manager in Jack Eichel doesn't want to do anything. He likes where they are. But, The no, bottom of the standings. Like, why instead? You have Sam Reinhart, mm-hmm. who is struggling and has such high value. Why don't you just say to, I don't know. Ship them. Yeah, why don't you just say to, like, hmm, let's see. What's a good team? Why don't you say to L.A.? Hey, L.A., we have this player here named Sam. Sam Reinhardt. You may have heard of him. Uh, You know who we like and who looks appealing to us? Alec Martinez. Ha! Not a good trade. Fine. You know who looks appealing to it? Wait, for who? For Reinhardt, for Mar- Martinez? No. LA would not never s- do no, that. No, not straight up. Like, it would be Martinez and, like, I don't know, second or something. Eh. Martinez is a decent defenseman, decent top four, and that's what they need. Something like that. Or, hey, if you want one for one, I'm not saying this would happen, but potentially... Because uh, things have kind of evened up with the whole Vatnin trade and with Henrique. That kind of set aside, like that kind of evened out the market for defensemen forwards after the whole Hall Larson thing. That screwed it all up. It's kind of even now. So potentially Reinhardt for Jake Muzzin. I like Jake Muzzin. He should stay on LA. LA wouldn't get rid of that. Yeah, but like. It'd be dumb. It makes sense for Buffalo. And doesn't make sense. LA, LA LA has a surplus of defensemen. True. So, plus that would save a bunch of cap room that they apparently need for Drew Doughty. <laughs> Drew Doughty's not going to stay in LA. And it would help. Not right now, it seems like he's not. That's why they need as much money as they can. Reinhardt isn't going to be paid as much. They're going to be saving cap, and you get a talented forward. The cap like went up too. Yes, we talked about that two we weeks ago. We said it was like we estimated. How much did we estimate? I don't know. It went up to 79.83, I think. Yeah, something like that, which is pretty good. It was like at 77 or something. The rumors you heard about last week were true. Yeah, they were. Or two weeks ago, sorry. I haven't yeah. recorded in two weeks. Yeah, we were gone for two weeks. Yeah. Problem last week. Yeah, it was. Scheduling problem. Once the new year kicks around, we'll be a lot better with that. Hopefully every week. So how does Buffalo kind of truly salvage this? They don't. They're fucked. 
This that, season, <laughs> this season, they're fucked. Well, this season, how do they salvage it for the future? Draft picks. That that's it. Just draft players. Yeah. Buffalo's so, Buffalo's gonna land Andre Svechnikov. Svechnikov. But why would that make? Wait, do you think they're gonna get first overall? No, Arizona's still gonna get Rasmus Dallin. His, do you think they're gonna get second? Buffalo. Yes, they're gonna get second. You know what I say? You know what I say? What? I don't think they take a second pick. Why? I think they say to whoever gets third, "Hey, I know you want Sveshnikov, but we aren't that interested in him. Why don't you give us?" <laughs> well, we got a dog it, on set. Don't worry about it. He just gave me his bone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I'd say to whoever's third overall, let's say Detroit, Edmonton. Edmonton, sure. Hey, Edmonton, would you want, do you want an Andre Sveshnikov? We bet you do. Why don't you give us, I don't know, second round pick? Or well, why don't you give us something and we'll give you Andre Sveshnikov, the second round overall pick. And you just, you know, give us a third and a little something else to even it out. And we're good. And then they take a defenseman. Because I, I don't, I can't remember his exact name, but some Finnish defenseman who's apparently really good, is supposed to go third overall. So there I you go. I can't think of that. Yeah. So they. So then Edmonton then gets, like, they're going to be hypnotized by Sveshnikov, which not to, like, who wouldn't be? There's your drink back, Stop buddy. Stop doing that. Okay. There's your drink back. Sure, why not? We'll just keep it like that for the rest of the show. Well, we're almost done. That's yeah, true. Um. So, yeah, if I'm... If I'm Buffalo, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make a way where I can get as much if I buy it like, like that for anything. So even, hell, losing the draft, let's say they stay second and last in the league, losing the draft lottery to a team would actually benefit them. It would save them negotiation. Yeah. Anyhow, let's say we don't get a top pick like that. We're still, gonna, we're still a bunch of... Really good defenseman out there. This is a good defensive draft coming yeah, up. Yeah, it's, it's a good draft. For defense. Well, forwards, they have good ones, too. More for defense. It's really weak. In my opinion, it's a, defend- I think it's a it's defensive a, draft. Yeah, it's definitely defensive-oriented. Forwards, it's not weak. Such as Rasmus Dallin going first overall. Goalies are kind of... Ugh. Yeah. There's a couple of decent ones. All right. And then one last thing, though. Hey, Daryl. Yeah. Because we won't, won't be doing anything for Christmas... I would like to just tell you so that we can kind of do a post after this episode that, hey, would you like to go to the CHL Top Prospects game and meet Don Cherry, Bobby Orr, and all the top prospects? Sure. Solid. Okay. The tickets are already bought. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. We're all set to go. I don't got to pay? Nope. Well, fuck uh, that. That's a Christmas awesome. present. That's a that's Christmas awesome. present. All right. When's that? Uh, January 26th, I I'll think. put that in my phone it's, it's after the, the podcast. Thursday. It's a Thursday. Are we advertising this for YouTube now? Yes, we are on YouTube now. Are YouTube we? and video things like that. We so. were recording this last week, but this guy had to fuck it all up. And I he picked up a camera and corrupted no. his entire camera. Yep, that's no, how it happened. I, that's what happened. So, no, that's Sh- what happened. stop it. Maybe. After we stopped recording last week, this idiot picked up one of these cameras. That one right there that I constantly talked into last week. He decided to pick it up and fuck with it. It ruined all the footage on it. Uh, actually, I... I'll tell you that the actual thing that happened is there was a light in it and it mm-hmm. screwed up with the green screen mm-hmm. we have in the background. Mm-hmm. Anyone that's ex- mm-hmm. played with green screens mm-hmm. before will know that kind of yep. messes with it. Yep, yep, yep. But we are on SoundCloud. We yeah, know that. Sound- we know that so from we're last on week. SoundCloud. We're soon going to be on iTunes. Hopefully. And, and, now, and YouTube now yeah, with YouTube. these wonderful Man, we're growing. GoPro and some knockoff. Chinese knockoffs. Chinese knockoff cameras. Yeah. Yeah. We're growing. We are. It's exciting. Yeah, you know. Last I checked, I Tim think we had a whole 37 viewers in our first podcast. I mean, that's not bad for a first podcast. I thought you said we had five. No, I checked. I think we had like 37 or something like that. But five people actually talked to me about the podcast. All good reviews. You know who you are. Yeah, shout out to you unnamed people. Well, well do we want to say who they are? No. No? That's Gonna not hide how it their works. identity? Yeah, it's not how it works. Only when we start getting the Twitterverse <laughs> and then people start asking us questions and we... Have a like a oh segment. this question's coming in from yeah and then some we have a person. segment at the end of the show where we go through viewer mail yeah viewer mail viewer tweets yeah simple enough yeah oh dog's back oh he took the bone oh. and just he's gone he's gone 
I'll get the bone he gave me as a Christmas gift. <laughs> well, I guess that's it for now. We yes. have to get what out of here. What time is it? 5.56. That was a quick Perfect podcast. Timing. About 40. That's, no, that's a quick podcast. Oops. Yeah. Oops. We'll, be, we'll be back after, after the New Christmas. Year. After Christmas. Yeah, after the New Year. Have, yeah. All right. Because I, I, I'm gone January something. I'm going on. I'm going to Blue Mountain skiing. Oh, okay. So, ha. Huh. Oh, um, I'm going to the CHL Prospects game. So, ha. Huh. Yeah, but that's late January, and I'm going too. I know. I know. Being, you're being melodramatic. How dare you? <laughs> just. All right, oh, can we now just... the dog is going to go after it. <laughs> nice going. <laughs> I can't even see this, which is great. This is awesome. Oh my god. You no, know, I'm just going to not drink out of that. Anymore. Well, this is your cup filled with the liquid there. Oh, is it good? That's yeah. No, don't eat my Cheerios. All right, so we good? Oh, I don't think I can actually show the logo. No, okay. you're gonna get you're gonna get a suit. No, we're fine. We're fine. Oh All right. God. Well, that's it for this week. That is. Uh, it. And yeah, we'll see it. Well, do you have anything else to say? Subscribe. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. And yeah, subscribe. Just subscribe. Please. Just subscribe. smash that like button down below. <laughs> and for the SoundCloud viewers, repost this because I, I think that's what you do on SoundCloud. Is it? Is it? I don't know. Are we SoundCloud? The rapper? producer's giving a nod. Okay. You repost. can repost on SoundCloud. Repost our SoundCloud rapper stuff. Yes. And we will be back when we are. Yes. Keep an eye out on iTunes. That was the producer. Yes. No, his voice is muffled. <laughs> Remember from the Is that an option producer? Can we muffle the voice? Yeah, he has it. He has it like there we go. Scrambled. It's cool. I like it. I like it. There we go. It. Yeah. And we will be We've got a bright future. Yeah. So that's it for the DNA podcast today. DNA, yes. That's I like how this, this is the first time we said it this whole episode. You didn't, didn't even say it in the intro. That. You didn't mm. We'll think we'll we'll figure that out. You no, know, I'm very disappointed in you. Why? Because I didn't say DNA podcast. Yeah, you're supposed that. to be doing the intro and outro, so you wanna know how I got that name? How? I was watching was it the producer. No, I was watching Jurassic Park and it was that part where that they were like showing how they did everything and Mr. DNA man came on and I'm like, Hey, your name starts with a D. <laughs> Mine starts with an A. Why don't we do A and D? I'm actually really disappointed that you didn't do it in the intro. You know, I'm walking off. Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. This is the DNA podcast and welcome to the episode. It's just me today. That's all. See you guys next week.